I thought you might want to see the making mushroom journal. Let me, let me show you how I make it out of just a single magazine. It's just a free magazine. This one was a, a food one. Now, if you haven't got one coming through your door, you might be able to ask someone to look out for one for you or save one for you. Yeah. So I made myself, here we are, it's on an old list of things to do. Make the teacup video, <laughs> anti-seasine. So I drew a simple mushroom, but I've got this part here so it can open. So what I simply do is draw round And I'm not going to take any pages out at this stage, like I would when I'm making a magazine glue book, because I'm just going to see how it all goes. It's just a just an experiment. And sew the pages in. Sew the pages in when I finished filling them. I might I might even it's just got staples, so eventually I will bind it. If it gets too bulky, I shall just take some out. Let me just show you. And then just simply take... I've got two pages here and start cutting. Like this. Here's one of the larger magazines. This is a, a heart-shaped journal. I'm making this one for Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take any of the. Um, I mean, I do take some of the pages out of this one. I've got a. I've got a video of how I make this one. Here we are, and just. Cut that out. Like that. And then just, just keep going. Close it down. Take another couple of pages. And then just cut. Like that. Round. until it's all cut out. <laughs> now, if you have any questions or I haven't made it clear, you just don't be afraid to reach out and uh, ask. Mm. So I'm going to now simply find some papers and start to put some background papers in this. Maybe for my little fairies. Oh, I can have a sip of tea. Mm. Mm. Oh, and take a nice breath too. Mm. So, yes, let's pop. Well, my idea is to pop a little piece of grease with paper under there. Glue the little mushroom page. Yeah, I've probably got far too many pages in here, but I'm just going to see how it goes. See how many I can I can get, and then pop. Some of the, this is the gorgeous smooshy paper I made with Melanie. Pop that over there like that. And then what I'm going to do is rip round. So instead of having like the smooth magazine, I'm going to have A nice buff 
soft edge. I think I might just where it joins there and shows you the shape of the mushroom. I think I might cut that just so we can tell it's a mushroom. And then rip down the rest of the page. Oh, yes, and we've got this little bit too that defines the shape. Mm, just having a little snack. Got a Victoria Plum. Absolutely gorgeous. Little Freddy. We're sheltering in here. It's all, can you see the grey sky? It's raining outside and, oh. Just looking at the flower fairy book, the rose hip fairy, absolutely gorgeous. Cool dewy morning, blue sky at noon, white mist at evening, and large yellow moon. Blackberries juicy for staining the lips, and scarlet, oh scarlet, the wild rose hips. Isn't she gorgeous? Ah, mm. oh, yes, I thought so. Flo has a little Victoria Plum journal. So sweet. Mm. And as I said the other day, I have been collecting papers for this for a long time a long time really when did i do the last when did i do the last flip through i'm not sure anyway i put this here just to stop the pages sticking together just do one more together like that and I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous, this is greasy paper. Isn't that lovely? Just stick that on there. And I like that, the writing from the magazine shows through. See, eventually I could each one reinforce it with um, washi tape. I'll just see. I. It could be in another video or even the flip through video. I will let you know what I did. And then again, I'm just going to rip this. And who doesn't like a nice little bit of paper ripping? <laughs> I'm ripping around this mushroom here. So the magazine is just the base, really. I'm not going to see much of it. Maybe a little nod to it through the through this paper. It can be just very, very rough. And again. Just cut here, just so we can keep knowing that it keeps it. it it's a mushroom. Keep it. Keep the mushroom shape. Hmm. Oh, wonderful. This has been in the planning since my holiday was in June 
and I was had already started to paint some of the fairies. I remember now. So what is it now? Nearly September. Oh wow! So yeah, June. Oh yeah, all summer. So. I wasn't ready to do it because I wasn't quite sure about how to present this little journal. So here we are. These are the first pages ready to receive the fairies. Hmm. Cut that there. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I think that looks... I think that looks lovely. We'll do, we'll do another page. Oh, I might get one of the fairies just to show you an example. I was writing down in from the chat and the comments, what, what fairy would you like to be? What would you carry in your creative basket? If you were a little fairy, look, here's Lisa Jane. She wants to carry a teapot. Oh, and everything. Oh, and biscuits. And <laughs> oh, lovely. And oh, Heather Nolan wants to be a unicorn fairy. And I cut this one out. And I can't remember who this one was. She's finished. She's got everything in her basket. Handily carried on her head. Um, She's got... Knitting needles, crochet hooks, cup of tea, books. Oh, that's her journals. Ah, oh, and pens. Ah, oh, she's lovely. Let's pop her in the journal, shall we? Oh, for the background. Look, let me get get you some perspective. That's where I sit. This was where Melanie was sat. It's like Freddie over there. <laughs> and Sandra dropped these off for me. They're dried flowers. They're from the microwave flower press. We had a little go at that a couple of weeks ago. Press, pressed on. Ooh. Oh, wow. The microwave flower press. This is lovely sound. Is it cooked? If it comes off, it, it doesn't have too many seconds. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Hmm. Just, they just look so nice in this orange box. It, it's framed them, hasn't it? Let's choose a few. Mm. There. So when I've got these dried flowers, just making a, a background for this cute little fairy. I think she could represent us all, couldn't she? Let me know if you you have a fairy idea too and then I can add, add you to the journal. So yeah, they don't count well these flowers. There we are. I've already put some in when we did them into my composition book. And what I did, I put PVA, or you can put Mod Podge, underneath. And then I simply put some on the top. And that will preserve them. Oh, that's lovely. I shall snip these ones off the edge. And I have that bundle of gorgeously dyed bits of fabric and rickrack. I think that will go beautifully on this colour palette here. I'm going to add some rickrack going to stick it on that glue but I will probably come in here later with some hand stitches. Pr 
probably in gold. How about that when it dries? <laughs> oh, and then simply for this page, I think I'm going to just stick her on here. I think there's still glue. Is this you? Is this little fairy you? With all these things in your basket. I think it's when I was taking my basket up to Ben's and I, I was showing everybody. I think that's how the conversation started. Of course, you know now that my basket is full of journals on the go. Lovely. That is page, page number one. And let me just cut off these. extra petals. It's going to have some more put on it but <laughs> for now let's let's have a lovely cup of tea and a chat together. Sam's just brought me in a cup of tea actually. How lovely. Mm. Oh that's lovely. I love it. Ah oh, bliss. <laughs> Collecting the journal is always such a joy. Oh, and then now, bringing it and putting it all together is going to be amazing. I'm going to do the backgrounds first and then I'm going to do some more of these little drawings of the fairies. I love it. Susan Roberts wants many colours and art supplies. Regina wants a big hearted fairy. It's going to be so, they are going to be such fun to create. And I think once I've got the backgrounds down, yes. Yeah, you have to sort of think, um, plan things so it makes it feel easier or, yeah. Oh, I can't explain it. You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, Flo, you look as if you've been so busy. Wow. She's such a creative little fairy. Shall we light a candle? Moments of quiet. I've got an ATC to show you. It's from Heather, Heather Noland. Oh, that's amazing. August 23. It's on a playing card and it's got some stitching around the edge, sewing machine stitches and some hand stitches. And it's a little joke. Whimsical, not practical. That's what Ben says. A whimsical bird, not yes. a practical bird. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, lovely. I'll pop it up here. 
not only for inspiration, just for brightness throughout the week. Oh, lovely. Ah, well, it really is time to say goodbye. <laughs> Take care, everyone. little mushrooms aren't they Freddy? Oh it is lovely. Oh it's it's all moist and oh it's lovely. Oh come on then little Freddy. It's starting to rain again obviously. Ah, oh, lovely. Ah. Oh. Oh, look, there's Freddy. <laughs> Bringing himself in here in the evenings. Bless him. Right, let's have a look. Oh, 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 Flo, I love your little angle pose lamp. It's so handy for you when you want to do some evening crafting. Oh, lovely. Ah, <laughs> oh, I think I'll join you, Flo. Hmm.